One of the big issues, especially during the recession, is burglary, and there has been a 9.2% rise in burglary. Mm. What's the force going to do to really tackle this? It is our number one priority. Um, and again, that is about a very firm focus um, on who are the people we know are most active. <laughs> It's not just a case of the burglar taking items. It's, it's very psychologically damaging as well. Yeah, we need police yeah. there sooner, yes, wouldn't and, you agree? And, and, we, and we, we have put a lot of work into the way that we answer calls, getting officers um, responding quickly. For instance, we've put all our science, scenes of crime staff on 24 hours, so that if you get burglary in the night, you'll be getting a visit during the night. So we've changed our ways, absolutely, to make sure that we get better response times. So what's your target, then, if, you, if a person has, say, been burgled? Yeah. How quickly should a police officer be there? Well, if there's somebody on the scene, if, for instance, somebody has just made off um, uh, and there's something can be gathered, then clearly we want somebody there within about 15 minutes. If the offender has fled? Then we would expect to get somebody there within an hour. <coughs> Michael Todd has not been an issue, you know, and I've not felt any shadow at all. People have really welcomed me, given me a lot of support, um, you know, and I've been really, really grateful for that, and now uh, we're going to build on that and, and hopefully do some great things in the future. <coughs> Are you handling the fallout of that? It's created a lot, you know, a lot of concern um, in certain communities, particularly the Muslim community. I think people understand our position, understand we have a job to do, and as long as we communicate and explain what we're doing, um, uh, and that they feel we're doing the right thing, um, and that we are communi com communicating, we will have our challenges, we will have difficult times to get through. But hopefully, you know, we're all aiming for the same thing, which is to protect Greater Manchester and make sure we do not get any attacks.